Okay, I've just uh, dug out a couple of my Trangia stoves at the shed and generally the Trangias are maintenance free but the only thing you do got to watch out for is the burners. Uh, I've got a 27, Trangia 27 in there and also one of the mini cookers and the one for burn on the mini cooker I have cleaned as you can see there and also I've uh, oiled the o-ring as well but the one on the 27 as you can see I'll put them side by side you can see the difference the mess is absolutely black the jets are probably blocked and basically it just needs a bit of a clean and that's what I'm going to do now like I say I have cleaned the burner for the mini and I'm going to clean the burner for the 27 now, you can see the difference there. First thing you need to do, obviously, is get rid of the meths, empty the meths out. And you can see it's coming out of the jets, but uh, it's a good idea to give them a good clean. So that's got rid of the, uh, the meths. What I need to do now is to, to wash the burner out just with clean water. You can use a bit of detergent but you don't really need the detergent, you just rinse it out with clean water. That's what I'm going to do now. Right, what I'm doing now is just cleaning out the burner with some water. Give it a wipe round around the top of the jets as well. That should do it. Right. It's all rinsed out. The next thing you need to do is get a safety pin or a needle, anything like that, and just go around all the jets. Just push the needle through them just to clear the jets for any blockages. Just keep doing that until you've gone around the entire burner. and blocking the jets. And once you've done that, just give it another rinse through with uh, clear water. So that's it, gone through all the jets. Like I say, all you do now is just give it another rinse. Right, that's had another rinse and all the jets have all been unblocked. So just set that aside to let it dry out. And then what I'm going to do now is to uh, clean out the lid. Okay, I've uh, taken the O-ring out of the lid, give the inside a clean. Get a bit of olive oil in your hand and just coat the ring with the olive oil. Give it a good coating. And once you've done that, you can pop it back into the lid. Like that. Right, nearly there. The actual burner has been stood outside in the sun for 20 minutes, whatever. Nice and dry, ready to be refilled with the meths and tested. 
All right, and that's it. Uh, just put some meths in it now. Um, it's very difficult to see. I don't know if you can just about make it out. Um, but I've lit it now and the, just testing it and the jets are kicking in now. I don't know if you can see it in there. Yeah, jets have just kicked in now. So that's it. Job done. And also a quick tip um, with the trongias. If you once you've finished with the uh, burner is always let it cool down before you put the lid on. Otherwise you, you'll find if, you, if it's still warm and you put the lid on and then it'll cool down you'll find it practically impossible to remove the lid by hand. It'll be really tight so always make sure that the, uh, the burner has cooled before you put the lid on. But anyway you can see there burning away happily there. Just put the drop the simmer lid on it just to extinguish it. And that's it. Job done. Like I say, always remember to let it cool down. That'll be very hot now. Before you put the lid on, always let it cool down. So that's it. Job done.